Guys, welcome back to the farm. Hey, we're out at the ag bag site. We fired up the corn chopper for a couple reasons. One, I need more room out here. We bagged so much hay this year that it took up more spots than I thought in that gravel pad. So we're gonna chop off some of this corn and I'm gonna lay in more of a pad because now my corn silage is going over here. Slight miscalculation, but we didn't put up any spoiled hay. Usually we would try to bale at new seeding, second cutting new seeding, could never get it dry. Bales would turn black and rot, or we'd wrap bales. Didn't really like wrapping bales, but put it in the bag. So now we got it for the milk cows. Gonna have plenty of hay. I can hear Mark coming back another rip. So here's your silage corn. She's a little green yet. Got a couple fields extremely close to being ready. We're gonna probably try to jump on shortly, but I needed this out of here. We're gonna blade this out and I'm gonna bring in my gravel man and he's gonna tailgate some more loads. I'm thinking for enough for four bags. Not gonna be cheap, but it's a lot more efficient than losing your life in a silo. And I, keep, I know I keep knocking these silos. They're good and they're bad. Now we just finished up bagging the second cutting. I'm gonna immediately put the corn silo, she's chopping now in front of that bag. Normally, if we had a silo cranked up, we'd have to level it, hoist up another one with them harvest, with those cement silos. So this way, the bagger, you just start bagging. That's the benefit of it. So here he comes. Check him out. We're going to start unloading. We're going to clean this up. We're going to lay some gravel down. Let's go. Taking two rows.
are right next to that hay bag. That's what I wanted to do, half the corn's gone. That's gonna save me a lot of time mixing this. Let's get the, let's get the silage in. Guys, next morning, hey, wagons are emptied and gravel is laid. That was Randy, our neighbor. Lucky to have him around. He really knows how to tailgate this gravel right in there. I should have enough room now for four more bags. I'm going to come in here and just run this down, run this down, pack it in. And we should be good to go. You'll see how it goes as the year progresses. But I, I needed to put four bags of corn silage and i'm gonna have two more over there so we're gonna go for six last night finishing up that last bag of corn silage or wagon going in the bag our nutritionist stopped by he wanted to test the corn silage he didn't even know we were chopping he took it and you've seen how green it was and you can see by looking at it and he smelt it steve says that smells good i'm gonna test this took it with him and he said i might text you late in the night 11.30 at night, text goes through. I'm sleeping, had to milk this morning. Get up at 4.40, see the text. He said the corn silage is at 67%. It's ready. It's a little, it may be ready if you were piling. It's borderline in my mind. For, you'd be juicing a silo if you were filling a silo. And that bagger's kind of juicing a little bit. So we're going to let that dry down a little bit. But 67%, he said it's ready to chop. And having him around, it's 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 a beautiful thing because I can now, I used to tell the boys a lot, things I thought that was happening. Well now, not to blame anything on Steve, but 
I can now say, well, the nutritionist tested it and said it's ready. He's a professional, and and it's just it's just that way you get an expert's opinion. And that's all free consulting. He's just trying to help you out, but he's giving me a lot of tips like that. So we've got some drier fields down about a mile, smaller ones that 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 seem like we're going to start, and then we'll we're going to start a fresh bag right in this corner. And then by the time that bag's probably about in, it'll start another one that will be onto this corn. This is this all silage specific corn. Uh, that's that's very good. I'm gonna show you something. Remember last, you guys been following me since spring. Remember I, I forgot to hit, turn two two rows on the corner on the corn planter on. Dad and I actually shut them off. Well, here they all are all grown up. These are my last two rows. See the gap here, how big it is. But these are my last two. And you can see the other silage specifics about two foot taller this this one and let's check and look at this ear real quick so there was the two but then here's the four you see the difference in those two right there there's your four put right on in here and i even you can see i planted it about a foot and a half in a lot of different this stuff's a lot drier it looks like all in all it came in pretty well i mean this stuff's this stuff's probably 12, 13 foot tall. So we're happy with it. As for today though, we're gonna head down, rake up some hay we bailed. Last two raw, gonna be a nice sunny day, get it bailed. And then we'll continue on with the corn. But we, we broke ground with that corn silage last night. That was pretty cool. Let's go. We're out in the back of this 60 acre hay field back corner. I've already started raking a little bit. My brother and I cut this three days ago. 88 degrees today. Very beautiful for mid September. We're going to try to get it all bailed up. Coon rake, greased, tires checked. I've got a different tractor on there. My 4430 raking tractor I've been using for the last two years because I put it on there by chance. The hydraulic outlet went bad on that tractor, got dirty and plugged up or something, so it was down. So I put the 4430 on it, blower tractor, by chance, just to get done two years ago, and just kept it on there. I liked it because it was more power, sat up about probably six, eight inches higher than this and just comfortable. But that's now my mixing tractor. So I had to move back to the 5325. This tractor needs to be washed and waxed. I'll be the first to admit that, tell you, but I've been using this to fill all them bags and load all them chopper wagons. So I had to put her back on there, and it does. It makes her snort. I'm in C1. That's road road gear, A, B, C range. C1, and, and I'm going half throttle. I'll show you how I'm doing it, but it's not as comfortable, not as much power. It's just a newer tractor, so I'm not complaining. I'm just stating the facts. Let's go.
get off here and check how dry these windrows are getting. We can get a hold of Mark and he could probably start bailing while we're finishing up. We're heading up the hill. Takes some time, but we'll see what kind of job we're doing. Here it is. You guys hear that breeze? I can hear it blowing right in my ear. Yeah, she's she's borderline ready to bail right now. Nice and crispy, I can tell you that. 88 degrees. Let's go.